Ocala's information station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting a tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather, so you ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Come on, it's lovely weather, for we sleigh ride together with you. That's right. All right, 24 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Monday morning. It is Cyber Monday, by the way. We want to talk about walking, though. So maybe maybe, maybe you want to uh, forget the whole cyber part and actually go to a real brick-and-mortar store. <laughs> uh, Stacey McDonough is with us. She's been with us many times before. Quite Most of the time, she's on Hank Whittier's show uh, that he does on Thursdays. Uh, but she is uh, somebody who impresses us greatly because she helps raise money for the American Heart Association. <laughs> What are you making fun of? No, he's bowing at. Oh, man. well, you should bow. you should bow to Stacy. I would I would bow to Stacy. Uh, she's also the regional director of the American Heart Association, and she's way down at the other end of the table. I even wore my deodorant, but she's still down there. <laughs> Cor- Corey Poole is here. He's the 2014 Heart Walk Chairman and the Vice President and Partner of Jenkins Auto Group. And Dr. Jim Henningsen, who said he's not really a doctor, uh, is the president <laughs> of the College of Central Florida. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I'm just reporting it as I heard it. That's what I heard. Uh, and uh, the 2013 Heart Walk chairman as well. And we are going to talk about the outcome, which I love this because this doesn't happen often. You know, we'll help promote things, but quite often we don't get the, the report after the fact. And I happen to know in advance that you guys did really well this year. So it's not like you're coming on and you're saying, you know what? It wasn't what we thought it would be. <laughs> But it was really good. So uh, good morning to all three of you. Thank you for morning. coming in. Good morning. Great to be here. So what do you mean when you're not a doctor? What does that mean? Explain that part. Well, I always have a joke in the family because my oldest brother is a surgeon. So uh, he's the MD. I'm an ED for education doctorate. So I'm not a real doctor, but I play one at a college. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I always stay away from the whole ED thing, by the way. It's just, well, yeah, that's a good point. It's one of the... <laughs> It's one of those medical jokes, I guess, right? So, Stacy, what you want to give us the, the bottom line first? What was the bottom line? How much money did you raise? We raised um, a record number of dollars for Marion County. So we raised um, just over $265,000 net. Okay. So we're, we're very wow. excited that we raised that, in this, that much money in this community. That's awesome. Stacy. can I ask you to do me a favor? That's a different kind of microphone. It probably has a switch on it. I could hear you through, uh, through Corey's microphone. Uh, the, yeah, Robin, she has the magic mic. Yeah, she's got a big mic over there. There's a switch <laughs> on it somewhere. In. Robin, I'll help you. Yeah, yeah, we, I can hear you, but not really as well as I'd like to be able to hear you. Oh, they taped the switch. They taped it. I can move. That's okay. Yeah. In the meantime, Larry, I'm going to go ahead and place my bid on that plasma screen TV on my iPhone. You know, since it is Cyber Monday. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm sorry, Stacy. I don't know what happened there. Maybe somebody can come that's in right. here. I was going to buy a new car. Well, now, yeah. well, now we got a better picture. Look how close Stacy is now. Oh, oh, that's much better. That's right. She's right up Maybe there. Maybe I did that on purpose. Maybe I did that on purpose. Well, she's prettier than Jim and I, too. So. You got that right. Yeah, I would say. I, I wouldn't disagree with that. All right, so uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and say the number again. How much did you We raise? raised a record number of dollars this year in Marion County, $265,000 net. So we're $265, very... $265,000. Yes. That is hard wow. to believe. And well, now, we and, have a very giving community. And what is what is the main explanation? Why was it so successful? What do you think? Well, I think it had many factors. We had a phenomenal chair this past year. Dr. Henningsen was our HeartWalk chair. We had leadership in place, so we have Corey chairing the HeartWalk in 2014. We've actually recruited our 2015 and 2016 chair, so that leadership in place definitely plays a role. And we had a record number of companies participating. So we had close to 50 businesses in Marion County that had formed walk teams and had their employees participating by fundraising and it was all from one walk or was it year, year you know like a, a bunch of walks during the course of the year no one walk we do one walk every wow. year first Saturday in October wow but there's a lot leading up to it I mean we officially kick off in early May so that's when folks actually Corey's already fundraising for next year so yeah, I was gonna say May some, some already partly started. right into it <laughs> oh wow 
So, so help us understand where the money goes. Now, now that you have two hundred sixty-five thousand dollars, how does it help? What does it buy? Does it do research? Does it buy it equipment? It does. It does. Um, what, it's important to know that heart disease and stroke are the number one and number four killers. So the majority of our money is put back into research and education so we can ensure that the best and greatest medical advancements are being made. So we're fortunate here in Central Florida, we've got some great research universities surrounding us. So for example, um, UF currently has about $3 million worth of ongoing research in cardiovascular disease and stroke. And it's forever changing the face of medicine. Because as research comes down the pipeline, it then in turn means it's being implemented at your physician's office and at the hospital where you seek treatment. Wow. If, if we were having this conversation 10 years ago and you could look to now somehow, we're looking into the future, would you see uh, changes, advancements in heart care? that you just never could have predicted? Have we actually accelerated that quickly? We have. Yeah. We have. It's amazing because there's fewer interventions being done because we're, or invasive interventions because we're, we're catching it earlier, we're treating it with, um, there's been a huge progress made in the pharmaceutical industry in terms of treating cholesterol and um, high blood pressure. Yeah. And we yeah. just know more. We, we, know, we know the effects of high cholesterol in the body and why it should be taken care of and treated. And they're constantly changing the protocols. It's like normal blood pressure used to be 120 over 80. Well, they now consider it pre-hypertensive. So we know if you're 120 over 80 now that you're, you're heading towards a predisposition of heart oh, really? disease. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's just really um, discouraging uh, when uh, we had read the notes you had said in one part that cardiovascular disease is the number three killer of American children mm -hmm. and usually you wow. um, you know think that that's just a disease for the older population yes uh, unfortunately heart defect is the number one birth defect in this country so oftentimes you know people do associate heart disease with an older population but it affects everyone well, I think one of the interesting things that uh, a lot of people don't realize, because when you think of a heart attack, I think you normally think of a man, but women are actually uh, um, at, at greater risk for heart disease than, than men are. And that's, but we have wow. go red to go red to help with mm -hmm. that. And, and then, of course, the heart walk. Is it okay to ask you the symptoms? I, and I've, I've heard, and the reason I'm asking this is because I've heard that women have different symptoms. Mm -hmm. Does anybody want to address that? What is the difference? Well, you know, oftentimes the symptom of a heart attack, of course, is that, you know, the arm pain, the shoulder pain, the crushing right. pain in the chest. But women often have symptoms that can be different from that. I've talked to many female survivors that explain their first heart attack of just they woke up and felt ill. They just didn't feel right. Oh, wow. Um, one woman said she woke up and felt like she had the worst case of the flu she had ever had in her life. Wow. We often have Who would think that that was symptom. a heart attack? Yeah. Exactly. Um, and women tend to experience more back pain associated with a heart attack than men. Isn't that strange? Mm -hmm. I wonder why. I mean, you wouldn't think that the heart would be different as far as that goes, but I guess it is. Huh? Yeah, just different symptoms. And, and so, therefore, we have to, that's part of what you do, too, education, I'm sure. Absolutely. Right? It is. I think one of the important things <clears throat> to, 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 to mention when you talk about, you know, a lot of organizations take money and they, they take it outside of the state or outside of the region. But as Stacy said, uh, in North Central Florida, we see about $3 million of that money. And Florida sees about $9.3 million per year. And um, as far as locally, um, you know, the Heart Association works with 47 Marion County schools and educates nearly 23,000 students um, every year about, heart, about a heart-healthy lifestyle. And then as far as working with the local hospitals, whether it's the nonprofit or whether it's the for-profit, um, we work with um, all the hospitals uh, with the, uh, the Get Out the Guidelines Care, which is... Uh, you know, kind of sets the standard for the best uh, heart disease and stroke patient treatment protocols. Right, right. And uh, Dr. Hennington, when you were preparing for the 2013 American Heart Walk as the chair, everything rested on your shoulders. How did you keep from being overwhelmed and knew that you had to make strides every day to make this a success? Well, you got to have a great team. And uh, two things. You know, why were we successful this year? I think First is putting a good team together. We had some leaders throughout the, the community who really stepped up. Uh, Corey Poole's been one of them for years. He's uh, one of the ones I look up to for philanthropy in Marion County. He's uh, always out there at whichever charity, and he just does a tremendous amount of energy and effort, and he raises a lot of money for everyone. And uh, the other part is we got great people on the executive leadership team, and uh, when they came and asked me to chair, and we got some good people there, 
it was kind of a joke with them about it. It's like being asked to be the coach of the uh, all-star team. It's like, great, just show up. We're going to play baseball. Oh, wow. I mean, just show up. We're going to raise money. And uh, <laughs> the team really came forward. Anytime we uh, put a challenge out there, they stepped up to play for it. The other part, being an educator, is educating people about the Heart Association. And I think we had a great ambassador this year that really helped get the word out. And that was the Bailey family, uh, Andrea and Jeff Bailey. Uh, Jeff's the general manager over at the Hilton of Ocala. Uh, Hannah, their daughter, um, has a heart disease issue, and she was our ambassador. And we're all walking for Hannah this year. And she came wow. out to the events, uh, the fundraising events, and told her story. And Andrea was there about the difficulty. She was born with a heart defect. And uh, the great news uh, for them, they just had a recent checkup, and uh, Hannah's doing great. And uh, that's just a great present at Thanksgiving for that family. And we really appreciate all the effort the Bailey family put out this year of uh, telling that story, because it wasn't easy for them at times. Mm -hmm. And it was really a, a, a tough situation they've gone through. But Hannah's a dynamo. She does karate, and uh, oh. I mean, she's full of energy. and She is. She's a fireball. She is. <laughs> um, I, she's my idol. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, we do have a phone call coming in, and you'll need your headphones to be able to hear the phone call. Uh, just to reintroduce while they're putting the headphones on, Stacy McDonough, Corey Poole, and Dr. Jim Henningsen are in the studio, and we're talking about the American Heart Association and specifically the results of the Heart Walk that was held back in October and the amazing $265,000 um, uh, money that was raised from the event. Let's go to the phone. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air. Hi, Larry and Robin. This is June, and I have a medical question for the doctor. Perhaps you can answer it for me because I'm having a friend that's having this procedure done, and it's called ablation, and it's going along with a pacemaker insertion, and I'm going to hang up and listen to see if he can answer that question. Thank you, and get heck, you guys have a blessed day. Right, thank you. Thank you. Well, I appreciate the question. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a doctor in education <laughs> at the college, but... Uh, um, I think that's a question. I don't know, Stacy, if you can help with that one, or we may need to get a medical or person for I, I, too, am not a medical professional, but I can tell you that tremendous advancements have been made in terms of the pacemaker. I mean, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. I've been working for the Heart Association for 12 years, and I still remember one of our very first kickoffs, we had a cardiologist come in, and he brought a pacemaker because he wanted to, to show people, you know, oh, this, yeah. this great this great device that can right, save lives right, right. and it was about the size of a deck of cards and today a pacemaker 12 years later is not much bigger than a silver dollar and um oh wow the, yeah the advances in technology that have come along but i mean pacemaker procedures have become i mean not that it's you know it's unfortunate that we say common but i mean they are they're a very common procedure to have to have done and they they do a great job w would the uh, caller be able to call the american heart association to have that question answered they certainly could they could go to our website um www.heart.org okay and okay. um our phone number is listed there um they could call in but they're um we, it, we just improved the website it's really great she could even type her question into the little search box and it will pop up oh okay okay but. So you, in, in order to get people to, how many people actually walked? We had well over 3,500 people this year at the wow. Heart Walk. And it was kind of wow. funny because I turned to the Marion County Sheriff's Office and I said, guys, do you have a crowd estimate for us? And he just looked at me and said, yeah, too many. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a big crowd. We weren't prepared for this big crowd. So, oh, wow. Um, wow. Yeah, we had, it's the most n number of walkers we've ever had. So wow. we had a great turnout. That was amazing. Yeah, if you haven't been there for the day of event, you really need to come out because it's a lot of excitement in the air. Uh, we make it a lot of fun. Uh, you're doing a heart healthy walk, and uh, so are they. Are they competing with one another uh, in two ways? As far as the amount of money that they raised, like did you have one star who ro raised the most money, or we did? He's actually here in the studio with us, <laughs> <laughs> sitting sitting between Stacy and I. Oh wow! So how much did you raise? Oh, uh, it was over five thousand dollars. Wow! Yes. And that was from many many donors, or did you? There's over thirty different donors. I sent that wow. out to a lot of folks, and uh, oh. that's something that uh, it was a nice to be able to do. And did a lot more than last year. I think that part of that duty comes with being the chair for the year. I put a lot of extra effort in this year, and uh, it's been a great year. I mean, last year Steve Pelosi was the chair uh, for the Heart Association right, Heart Walk, right, and Steve right. did a great job of turning it around to get us back on the upward growth mm -hmm. trend for right. raising money. Uh, this year we did more than last year. And uh, Corey's going to be our chair next year, and I know he's already got uh, his sights set on uh, a bigger goal this year, and that's that's fantastic. We're trying to raise more each year, and uh, it's you, such a giving community. Do any of you walk or jog regularly? Are any of you walkers? You do. Yes. Well, I jog regularly. I know he jogs regularly. I'm a, I'm a walker regularly. 
Um, I was actually, um, it, it's interesting that we should be, I should be the chairman of the Heart Walk this year. About five or six months ago, I started to have some uh, some symptoms that I, I didn't realize were, were actually heart related. Um, I would be dizzy in the afternoon, um, out of breath, um, just kind of have some chest pain. Right, and right. so uh, about two weeks ago, I was actually in the hospital for uh, two days. Oh, wow. And um, had the, the tilt test done, which is, I highly recommend, um, where they uh, lock you in uh, kind they, of like a um, tilt you, huh? me- medieval uh, torture device. Oh. And then they, they, they bring you up and... Fun. It is actually absolutely. I recommend it for everybody. It's covered by insurance too. And um, after I got done, um, they actually diagnosed me with uh, what's called POTS. It's postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And what it is is um, when most people stand up, your heart rate goes up about ten or fifteen beats per minute. Right. Oh. When, when people who have this uh, the symptom this the syndrome stand up, their heart rate goes thirty to forty beats per minute. Wow. And so interestingly enough, the Heart Association has been doing research on this. Um, I actually just went down to Cleveland Clinic last week to talk to them about it, and um, some of the medications and some of the um, things that they've got to help with this um, are a direct result of what the Marian. American Heart Association has done, um, and so I think it's uh, it's fitting that uh, you know I'll be the chairman in 2014 as they try to figure yeah, really. out what's wrong what's wrong with me yeah. and yeah you learn firsthand and boy that's got to be yeah. scary it is I think you know fear of the unknown is is really the biggest issue and once you're diagnosed it's kind of like whew, and then you're like well you know I guess so yeah but any condition that has the word tacky in part of the name. <laughs> I would be worried about that. So you, well, I know Jim also, uh, you know, not to you know, throw out all his medical issues here, it's probably a HIPAA violation, but uh, <laughs> he, he, he also has some, some, some heart issues as well. So I think this is, this is all, the reason we do this is because it's near and dear to our hearts. Oh, wow. And these yeah. are both young guys. Nice way to say it. Yeah. yeah. Relatively healthy young guys. Yeah, that mine, have heart mine started issues. when I was uh, 30. Oh, really? Uh, it was a syndrome where it's a, a premature ventricular contraction, so it's like your heartbeat skips. Did your um, involvement in jogging or walking regularly, uh, ha- did you do that because you thought it would improve your heart? No, I started that afterwards. Uh, I played soccer a lot of years, but uh, it, it came about, and they don't know why. The doctor said it happens a lot of young males. Uh, particularly NBA ball players, and I said, "Well, there you go. There you go. That's exactly what's the problem here." But uh, make you feel good about it, right? Yeah. No, I think it really a lot of it. They didn't know if it's a genetic or if it's a you know environmental conditions. But I think, from my own personal uh, belief, is uh, you know stress does have an impact on your bodies, mm-hmm. and it's something that is controllable. Uh, with uh, reductions of stress and a healthy lifestyle, in terms of, that's where yeah, the Heart right. Association yeah. really helped me out. Was the research in terms of healthy eating, healthy living habits, and uh, trying to control that. So it, I still get them every day, but it's nowhere near. I had a 1,000 an hour for a while oh. back when I was first diagnosed. That's like one every four heartbeats was missing. And, wow. Uh, so and it, could you feel that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like a hiccup in your chest. Wow. A 1,000. Wow. That's, uh, they had me on a halter monitor and to see what it was, and uh, they just said, uh, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, wow. it calmed down, and there's a procedure they now have that, based on the research from the Heart Association. Uh, they have a procedure procedure that um, computerized, and it's incredible now in terms of the accuracy of fixing that. So I, it's not been a quality of life issue for me where I've needed to go and have that done. He's like, if you don't need to have it done, let's not do it. Yeah, right. So, do you know uh, we? Do you know who Rhonda Vincent is? By the way, she's like a bluegrass musician. She's not really famous. We happen to know her, but she, she's on tour all the time, even though she's not hugely famous. Well, her husband, she posted this on Facebook. She he called her while she's on the road, saying, "I'm in the hospital. I had a heart pain this morning, but yeah. I'm okay now. They put a stent in this morning. I'll be out tonight." I'm yeah. thinking, wow. <laughs> in one day's time, I mean, he went in to, for something that year, a few years ago, he would have been in major surgery. His whole chest would have been mm-hmm. ripped open and they yeah. would have done something, right? And the, and it's amazing, too, the, the advancements they've made with stents because they used to put a stent in and your body would eventually recognize that there was a foreign object and it would grow scar tissue. Well, now they are able to drug coat the stents that kind of tricks your body to say, oh, there's no foreign object here. You don't really? need to form scar tissue. Wow. And now they're, um, I mean, latest procedures is they're now using stents for other things. I know my father-in-law went through several procedures where they were able to stent the veins in his legs to oh. reopen his, his the circulation in his legs. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That is amazing. amazing. Yeah. I didn't, that's, wow. So we learned something. Yeah. I hope I remember it. I always learn <laughs> stuff and then I forget it. <laughs> There's a quiz at the end of the show. I'm an educator. <laughs> oh, at the end quiz. of the show, I'm okay. At the end of the day, I'm not. So do, do you are currently in, involved in recruiting people to, to help you out? Or, or um, what are you doing right now as far I mean, the heart walk is for a We're while. We're doing a radio you know, right? show. Yeah. <laughs> We, um, 
you can, know, you, can you use the radio show to help? We can, something? absolutely. And I, I, the nice thing about the American Heart Association and the Heart Walk is, is you know, we're not just looking for corporate sponsors, although we love corporate sponsors. This really uh, is something that everybody can get involved with. We see schools having bake sales. Um, we see, you know, teams, um, just, uh, you know, mom and pop teams, uh, just, uh, you know, everyday individuals who um, have been affected by, by, by heart attacks or by stroke getting involved. So this is not something where, you know, you have to put up 5000 or ten thousand dollars. This is something where you can put up fifty cents or five dollars, or right, just kind of. Right. And I know the college, uh, you know, has has a lot of activities that they do. Um, you know, we had a we actually had our own bake sale um, at the uh, at the auto group, and uh, it's this is a good opportunity for everybody, no matter what your your walk in life is, to participate. And when you come to the Heart Walk that day, you actually see that. Well, this really affects everybody in the family because the emotions that are expressed when somebody like both of you gentlemen had to go through, your family members must have been affected by this. Are there counselors there provided by the American Heart Association to help? you know, everybody in the family understand what's going on? We actually just started something with our Go Red for Women movement, um, Go Red Connect, where we have the ability for folks to go to our website and fill out a short application, and we connect them with other survivors who are going through the same thing. Oh, really? Um, and there are numerous support groups um, throughout Marion County and other communities across the country. Wow. Is, is the advice still to take an aspirin if you think you're having a heart attack? Yes. That's still the advice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, let me just reintroduce you, then I have a couple I guess we're just almost out of time. Stacy McDonough is here, Corey Poole, and Dr. Jim Henningsen. Uh, they're here to talk about the American Heart Association Heart Walk. I want you to know that we, as WOCA, appreciate the fact that you've taken us up on our offer to help promote this. It's, Absolutely. It's near and dear to WOCA uh, and to the Martone family who own WOCA to be involved in things like this. It's just, it's, you know, in as a broadcaster, it's really the only thing we can do. The only thing we can really do is help people like yourselves who are doing really great things we our job is to get the word out about what you're doing so thank you for thank coming you. in here today and and in the past and we want to keep doing this, this is a great relationship we appreciate it yeah, yeah. your support's very much appreciated it is i know joe said it's been 30 years now that uh, he's been supporting uh, the american heart association and we, oh wow we, see, gra we greatly appreciate see, that i didn't even know that and once you get the attention of a child and you're in the school like you are, doctor, giving talks to all of the Marion County Public School children, they're going to take that information home because they don't want to see anything happen, not to them, but they're thinking about their parents and their grandparents, and you're really doing a great service to the community by bringing that to the forefront. Yeah, ed education is key, and uh, the support the Marion County Public School System in terms of the Heart Association outreach to them has been fantastic. And uh, the more that we can do to get the word out about healthy lifestyle and healthy living, healthy eating, exercise, and get out and take a walk today. It's mm -hmm. uh, a little cloudy out there looking out the window right now, but it's a beautiful day in Marion County because every day is a beautiful day. Uh, but uh, get some exercise. It's uh, a wonderful way to uh, start your day or end your day, yeah. and uh, it's a heart healthy way to do it. It's Cyber Monday, but take a walk anyway. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Take your, <laughs> take your computer, your, your, your laptop with you out in your walk. Yeah, right, right, right. Shop while you walk. I also just wanted to mention one thing in closing, and, you know, it's kind of sad, but in Marion County, we rank 47 out of 67 counties in our, our health rankings. Oh. And really, 40% of all deaths in Marion County are a result of cardiovascular disease. So. Wow. So we're doing something uh, wrong, but that's a measurable number, though. So that's, in addition to the dollar amount, you can actually measure your success by seeing that number change. Correct. Mm -hmm. Are there any goals regarding that? And do we... We're trying to improve the health hard? of all Americans. We do have a, a rather significant um, 2020 impact goal. So by the year 2020, we would like to reduce risk by 20% for all Americans, as well as reduce death yeah. and disability by 20%. The great thing is, a current, according to current measures, we're on track to reduce the death rate. However, the risk is still there. We're not making the headway we, we need to continue to make with risk factors. And the biggest one being healthy eating and physically active population. You know, the, the rule of thumb is 150 minutes of cardiovascular exercise a week for an adult. For a child, it's an hour a day. Wow. And sadly, the kids aren't getting that in school because PE's been cut. Yeah, that's the sad part. That is crazy. Part. Yeah, I don't understand that. I mean, how much could it cost to have a kid run around the track or do sit-ups? Yeah. You know, um, one of the things we do, we donate blood. And one of the benefits of donating blood is you get a report on your cholesterol. We do. And you can really see if you've been eating right or if mm -hmm. you've been eating wrong. Because yeah. if you've been eating wrong over the last eight weeks, it'll show a higher number. And if you've been eating right, because we've done this. We've, we've gone through... 
uh, periods where, you know what, we're going to be healthy, heart, heart healthy food, you know? Mm-hmm. And you can see it. You can see it. And so just kind of advice to anybody who wants to give like, a mini physical, if you donate blood, it'll kind of... It does give you great information. And, and I think just by what you're doing, the uh, awareness uh, campaigns that you're all involved in, even the heart walk itself mm-hmm. is an awareness campaign. Mm-hmm. It is. It makes people say, who are all those people? What are they doing? You know? So... Mm-hmm. Um, well, thank you for what you're doing. I think that's the huge thank you. Um, the, the smaller but still significant thank you is for coming in here today and for helping us understand. Well, thank you for having us. Our pleasure. Uh, it was, it was always, it's always fun to talk to people about doing great things for other people, and you, you are all an example of that. So, Stacy, thank you. Uh, Corey and Jim, thank you all for coming in here today. Our thank pleasure. You. Thank you very much. Have a great holiday season. You too. Thank you. We will take a little break, and we will be right back. You're listening to WOCA News Talk 1370, Ocala's source for what's happening in today's hottest up-to-date news and topics. Hi, I'm Tom Ingram, CEO of Gateway Bank, inviting you to drop by our main office on Silver Springs Boulevard every Friday from 3 to 6 p.m. for the Community Gazette, a three-hour show focusing on our favorite community to live and work, Ocala, Marion County. Come join us with the voice of Ocala, Buddy Martin, in the new old-fashioned bank radio studio as we discuss a variety of interesting topics on the Community Gazette on WOCA The Source. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! ABC News Now. I'm Karen Chase. NTSB investigators have confiscated the cell phone of a Metro North train operator to see if he was texting before the train derailed in New York, killing four and injuring more than 60. They're hoping the train's black boxes will help them determine how fast the train was going and whether the operator hit the brakes. Fast and Furious co-star Vin Diesel tweeted, Heaven has gained a new angel after hearing that actor Paul Walker had died in a high-speed car crash in Los Angeles. Walker was a passenger in a Porsche that hit a tree and caught fire. A man is under arrest in Seattle after taking a joyride in a commuter ferry. He led police on a chase through Puget Sound before a SWAT team boarded the craft. High cholesterol could raise your risk of breast cancer. New research finds a byproduct of cholesterol can fuel the growth and spread of breast cancer cells, and statins could help prevent it. Your behavior may be genetic. A new study found that mice, trained to avoid a certain smell, passed on that aversion to their offspring. They say the findings could be critical in research on anxiety and phobia. This is ABC News. Do you know what that sound is? That's your new digital marketing department. And that'll be your new web designer. And that, that's Haibu, where these experts are joined by many more, from web designers to search marketing specialists, who work hard to get your business noticed online and on mobile. Best of all, Haibu can do it all for you, or give you the tools to do it yourself. To find out more, go to Haibu.com, that's H-I-B-U.com, or call 877-938-HAIBU. Oh, that'll be your next new customer. Haibu, made for business. You hear that rattle, kid? That's an unbalanced condenser fan. That's bad. Unbalanced things break. Broken things cost money. Spending money leads to unbalanced budgets. That's why I like Granger. They balance my needs with my budget. Granger has counterweights, fan blades, motors, everything we need to keep this place humming. Not rattling, humming. The Granger catalog in all its forms. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Life jackets save lives. Where at Florida, there'll be some fog in the area this morning, even a shower along the coast. Otherwise, clouds and some intervals of sun today, the high 71 to 75. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight with some fog forming late tonight and persisting into tomorrow morning. Low tonight, 50 to 54. Later tomorrow, partly sunny, the high 73 to 77. For Wednesday, sunshine, some clouds and warm.